Welcome to Quartzsite, Arizona, the most ministry needy place in the United States. Ask me why. In this video, we'll be saying goodbye to Josie and Star as they leave Quartzsite, Arizona and head up to Starbuck, Washington. Then we'll be discussing my health situation and things moving forward. There's Star and Josie's camp. They have pulled out. I'm actually going to go try to catch up with them. I'm glad they got out of here because they were under a lot of attack. There's the, the Jose, and look at the doggo. Josie and Star are over at my place right now. Kind of a last stop before they hit the road, just Making sure everything is secured. Hauling the, uh, hauling the whole homestead. It's going quite a ways. So, uh, I'm in your prayer. They got quite a, quite a drive up uh, almost to the Canadian border. Where do you guys think you're going? Uh, somewhere north. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a snow bunny and a snow durr. They're going to leave the burr in the hot desert. They go up the snow. You're crazy. You're <laughs> These two young adults learned so much here in Quartzsite this year. It was really amazing to watch God just work in their lives. guys later. Next season. Love you too. Off they go to Washington. Lord God, give them traveling mercies and protect them. So this is where I'm living right now. It's kind of interesting because I just saw Josie and Star off and now I'm I'm really here. <laughs> Here's the truck. I've been doing some work on it and using the back kind of as a workbench. Got a lot of stuff going on. It's a good place to work. Josie dropped me off a bike. <laughs> kind of interesting, but oh, my door is locked. But um I think God's going to do some amazing things here this year. I'm a little scared. It's a little weird. Just uh, don't really know these people that well. We've kind of just met fairly recently here. This is what I'm putting together. Got a long ways to go, but... Not a huge place, a bigger than I've had in a while, and I've got a full-on, you know, electronics bench that'll be fully functional here because nobody's doing any electronic stuff here in town. My desk, a little kitchenette, nice big, we call it the bircher, nice big recliner, which I'm just really blessed. And, and my bed, um, I just put the little closet thing up the other day, put the 
nice little stereo in here. She's got some music. And it's just real basic. Real basic, but I am so blessed to have a place. Huge shower. And gosh, I don't know what they were planning in there, but you have a dozen people in that shower. So it's awesome to have a, have a shower. Uh, of course, our Arizona thing, cover the windows and insulate them. Doesn't let light in, but when it starts getting hot, which it just did, uh, that saves your life. And you know, this place, there's a lot going on. I had to go do a lot of work up in the attic. So for now, we just covered it like this, insulated the heck out of it. And so this place is very insulated now. And I'm hoping it'll be livable through the hot summers that we have here. So as far as my medical situation, I went through quite a let down with insurance in California. They changed several things on me and as they were operating on me for a large tumor that uh, could possibly become cancer soon, they just kind of stopped everything. So we're praying that there's a new opportunity there. Uh, hopefully uh, either that's going to happen in the next couple days or I'm just going to be done with California and just become a full-on Arizona resident and try to find another way uh, I need it operation in my colon please pray for that if you guys know any insurance something i can get into to get that done it'd be a tremendous blessing if you get a hold of me and just let me uh, know give me some direction on that i'm pretty much all alone out here in arizona now i'll be staying in quartzite doing some maintenance work to get by uh, working on the trailer i've got most of the stuff i need for that there's still a few things i'm praying for uh, but God is, he's opening doors. It's a little scary, like I said before, um, but you know, I, I see God working and I trust God. As the kids go up uh, for a whole new time, I think God's gonna do amazing things for them up in Washington. Great Christian couple are gonna be working with. They really need that in their lives. And I'm just praying for God to pour out here. Uh, I wanna reach these people. There's people from all over the world here. having dinner and I'm going to give you this quick update literally as I'm putting this video together uh, I've had to leave uh, head out to Lake Havasu City where Josie and Star have had to pull over and camp uh, several things happening both really bad weather that they're waiting to pass and Star's back just really went out on her I took her in for some massage uh, to try to loosen it up and it's still in really bad shape uh, Josie and her are going under tremendous attack, parts breaking on the truck, and, and they just need your, your prayer. Please give them prayer support. Please get a hold of us here at Agape on the Streets. Go to our website. We can use your support, not just monetarily, but prayer support and text me. Say hello. Let me know you're out there. Let me know uh, you're praying for us. I love you all. God bless you all richly. Bye-bye now.